going on there folks good evening earthmaster here checking in on the channel january 14 2021 9 52 p.m west coast time kind of late for an update but do you want to cover a little bit of earthquake activity happening around the globe here we did have a rather strong and shallow 6.2 earthquake there in the indonesia area that uh, did some damage uh, right at the surface there about 18 kilometers or so below ground That's uh, been the biggest quake so far today uh, over the last 24 hours there. You can see that 6.2 did you feel it reports way up there in the uh, uh, up there in the red. Uh, looks like a few folks uh, reported feeling that uh, rather strongly and uh, there's definitely uh, uh, some uh, definitely good. I mean, it's definitely uh, what am I thinking here? What's the word I'm thinking of? It definitely felt strong, I'm sure, to those folks there at the epicenter area is what I was trying to uh, spit out here. It's just been one of those days once again. So that 6.2 uh, stretching around the Indonesia area. Also a fairly large earthquake there. Uh, kind of large, at least above the magnitude of <clears throat> what we have been seeing there in, in uh, Hawaii. A 4.0 earthquake struck uh, around the southeast side here of the big island uh, kind of just north of the Lo Loihi, Lohi Seamount region that's the uh, underwater volcano this 4.0 has been uh, basically struck within a region where we've seen quite a bit of smaller quakes and you can see over the last hour uh, a couple two pointers there in the red circles but that uh, four pointer there looks like it was felt by a few folks 33 kilometers downstream there so we may want to watch uh, uh, for some further deep movement in the region. This specific area has seen these levels of, uh, of uh, depths there, 25, 31 kil kilometers below surface. Uh, but the magnitudes are starting to get a little bit larger too, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, up around the uh, Kilauea Volcano, just a little small microquake there in the uh, Kilauea Crater area. As the activity continues there, uh, Alaska is still... Well, if you take a look at the uh, red circles here, that's the last hour of earthquakes there. So a little bit of uptick in the Alaska region north of Anchorage up into the Fairbanks area. Uh, just some microquakes there, but uh, kind of uh, kind of active there over the last hour or so. Uh, West Coast did have a earthquake strike the Bay Area, or at least near it, right around Concord. This area here is highly populated. I mean, the very dense area with millions of people. That's kind of why this is in the red, right? You're like, why is a 3.6 highlighted red? You know, that's not even a major earthquake there, but it was felt by quite a few folks there. I mean, even though it was light shaking, um, there was quite a few. Uh, did you fill it reports here? Check this out. So we got uh, <laughs> 1 through 10 of 208. So all these folks here reported filling 102, 122 people in Martinez, California, um, all over Concord, all over the Bay Area. In fact, um, folks felt that earthquake striking uh, the region. This struck specifically right there on that Concord Fault. You guys see that little Concord Fault line structure right here? Pretty, uh, pretty small fault system. I mean, it's not super big compared to, uh, well, for example, the other one down here, the Hayward. Uh, fault system and also the uh, Calaveras fault here. There's the Hayward, a little bit stronger, more uh, more defined uh, line right there on the plate. But uh, definitely uh, interesting activity taking place here in this region. And what is that there? The uh, Concord fault. I wanted to check something here real quick. Uh, Oh, I was going to look at it earlier and I completely forgot here. So, at least according to an article published back in 2015, I think we may have even talked about this, a uh, mysterious earthquake fault slices under central Concord. Uh, it's jagged quarter mile wide seam running beneath a critical fuel pumping facility. That's great, right? Uh, processing about 166,000 barrels of crude oil daily and undercutting strip malls and homes. Like I said, highly, highly populated. Uh, 
Uh, the Concord Fault is significantly more active than the fault that caused the Napa earthquake, uh, which was uh, that 6.0 back in uh, uh, 2015 August. Uh, nobody would be surprised if a magnitude 6 earthquake happened on the Concord Fault tomorrow. Uh, the geological survey estimates indicate a 3-4% to 4 probability of a magnitude 6.7 or higher uh, earthquake over the next 30 years on the Concord or Lower Green Valley Fault. The Concord Fault specifically creeps a measly 4 to 5 millimeters annually, so very small creeping, uh, while the Hayward Fault slips 9 millimeters and San Andreas 25 millimeters. So, um, but you got to think about it, it's uh, definitely possible to see upper 6 in that region there. Just a little bit of information on that specific fault there. Um, other than that, activity specifically on the San Andreas. Looks pretty quiet. Small little earthquake here near Fraser Park. 1.5 microquake smack dab on the uh, San Andreas. As we look down south here, looks like uh, it's kind of quiet, folks. San Jacinto Fault area kind of uh, mellowing out. Just a couple small, and you can count them here, um, over the uh, San Jacinto Fault area. Pretty, pretty mellow. A lone quake down here near, uh, what is that, Julian? Julian? Julian Julian, whatever, however you want to pronounce that. And a couple more small quakes there at the edge of the Salton Sea region. But uh, overall, looking pretty quiet in Southern Cal for the most part. Up into Wyoming and Idaho. Just your standard small little microquakes there looking into the uh, Washington region. Some earthquake activity right around Mount St. Helens, but uh, looks like they're about 10 miles out or more. No quakes at the summit at Mount uh, St. Helens, Mount Adams, Mount Rainier. They all look pretty quiet uh, for now. Yellowstone National Park, again, no swarming, no activity to report there at all. Trimmer map in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Today, zero epicenters, nothing on the map for today as far as the uh, trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, we're out of here. Um, have a good night. Stay safe out there and uh, be prepared. No matter where you're at out there, it's always earthquakes country out there somewhere. Somewhere out there. Stay safe, everyone.